stars and galaxies welcome back to my channel the universe tarot today we're doing a reading for aries aries it's all about you it's all about the aries today now before we get started make sure you guys like comment share 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 subscribe 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when i upload and please note that the tarot instagram page is in the description box below along with my cash app i did make sure that it was in there this time you know no one said anything about it not being in there the cash app that's how i know y'all didn't look i knew y'all didn't care but that's fine no shade anyway with all that stuff out the way let's get started into the aries reading okay now we're just gonna go ahead and shuffle these cards really good and then draw all 15 cards like i said i might make it a, i'm gonna I'm, I'm probably gonna just gonna make it a regular thing you know what i'm saying because why not you know it goes faster that way you know what i'm saying because why not why not Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna draw. Oh, we already draw a card. Our first card says Aries, Page of Wands. Okay. So I'm seeing here that you got some anxiety going on there's a stressful situation where it's giving you a lot of anxiety like it's giving you a lot of like self-doubt which is rare for the aries right it's very rare i'm seeing a lot of anxiety here okay you probably have a lot of anxiety or maybe like a pinch of depression right <clears throat> excuse me i burped you probably got something going on that's taking a lot out of you so it bu it's building up your anxiety the knight of pentacles okay right so maybe it's a money issue, okay? Maybe it's a money issue or there's some or maybe you're in a relationship where um you're in a relationship where that person wants you to commit more, like like be more serious in the relationship. Like maybe they're saying something like, Oh, you should take a relationship to the next level. Like maybe that's something like that is scaring you, okay? Or if it's not that, maybe it's just a money issue then. Maybe you're going broke and you're worrying about your finances, right? You're worrying about your finances and you don't want to be broke and you don't wanna just be a hobo on the street. Like, that's what's building up your anxiety. The Six of Swords, okay? Aries, all right, as long as you try to figure out a way to make this right, you're not alone in this, okay? You just got to let go of the situation and move on. Like, get out of your self-pity party, okay? And actually try to figure out what you can do to fix the situation, okay? What can you do to make things better, okay? Death in the reverse, all right? So I'm seeing here you feel like your life is not where you want it to be. If you, you feel like it's in a standstill, right? You feel like it's not going the way you had originally planned. And that's okay. Not a lot of people are in the life that they had planned for themselves when they were, like, compared to how they were a kid or how they were younger. Like, you know, everyone has this idea of how their life would be in their head. But it's not, in reality, what it is in their head. The Seven of Swords, okay? Right? And the conflict you're having in your relationship as far as your relationship is concerned you don't want to um be in a go the next step because there's not really a hundred you don't really trust them enough to get to that point which is really a little bit strange because in any relationship you have to have some kind of trust you know that's the million reason you go out with them anyway but you feel like you don't trust them enough to get to that point to a living together point or whatever or whatever else other serious stages of their are in a relationship and that's building conflict between the two of you the five of swords okay you're the two of you are at a disagreement like this person does not want to wait around for you to make a decision but at the same time you don't want to feel like you're being rushed into any big decision okay because you know whatever they're suggesting that the two of you do together whatever serious thing they want to do with you it's not something that should be just be taken lightly okay if you're gonna make the decision you feel like you know you should be 110 percent sure but they feel like you're taking too long and that's where the conflict starts the page of cups okay so I'm, ooh, so i'm seeing here that there's a pregnancy going on right now all right somebody in a, there's somebody in a relationship that's pregnant okay all right there's pregnancy in this situation and that's probably what's causing conflict because they want you to move to the next step with them because you know there's pregnancy in the situation eight of wands in the reverse okay right <laughs> now you're scared 
Now you're scared because of the pregnancy, okay? You're scared because of the pregnancy, right? Like, the two of you are at an impasse, right? And you're scared because you're not trying to be a parent right now. You don't feel like you're fit to be a parent. You know, you feel like you still have your whole life ahead of you before you even think about being a mom or being a dad. And you just don't, you just don't know what to do. You feel like you want to get rid of the baby, but the partner is saying the totally opposite. The emperor in the reverse, okay? Right? And your partner is a little bit controlling, okay? And a little bit of verbally abusive and not very smart, not too bright, okay? Right? You know, they're not dumb, not retarded, but, like, they but they are not Einstein either, okay? They just, but they have the nerve to be a little bit controlling, though. Okay? The Three of Cups, right? Right? So, once the peop once people, your friends or your family found out about their pregnancy... Right? Their first reaction was to celebrate. But then you're just like, no, don't celebrate. This is not a good thing. Okay, this was not planned. And they're just like, oh. <laughs> right? You know, like most like some situations. Okay? So, but because because the reason I say that is like when they when you first told them, they felt like, oh, you know, maybe you guys can get engaged and married and you know you celebrate. Da 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 da. No, this was not a planned one. This is this is not planned, so it's kind of a little bit of bad news. And they're just like, oh, okay. <clears throat> the sun okay and you don't want to lose your partner either because they make you happy they make you happy you don't want to lose them or you know but you don't want to be you don't you don't feel like you're fit to be a parent either right and you want to you you do you want to either like get rid of it like like aka abortion or a, give it up for adoption or something like that okay right so yeah like either that like any of those two but it's mostly abortion that you want to do but yeah either way Either way, that's what's going on, okay? Either way, it's abortion or adoption. Either way, you're not very, you don't feel like you're fit to be a parent and you want to just not be one, really, if you understand. You guys understand, right? The Four of Wands, okay? Right? And people are starting to talk like, well, you know, maybe guys, since you guys are on the road to being parents, maybe you should guys can go ahead and get married. See, you, Aries, feel like this is just a lot at once. Because one thing, you are pregnant. All right, you either you were pregnant or your partner got pregnant. Either way, you know, this pregnancy was unplanned, not ready for. You're panicking. You don't want to be a, you don't want to be a mom or you don't want to be a dad, right? Right now, and now that everyone's talking about marriage, and since you guys are pregnant, you like guys, you get or you guys are pregnant, you should probably get married. Like, listen, just because you get someone pregnant or you got pregnant by somebody doesn't mean you get married. Okay, some people would argue that, but no, because you can get pregnant by someone or get someone pregnant and you don't love them enough to marry them. Okay, four of pentacles. Okay, all right, so you feel like if this situation is going to be sorted out, you need to take you need to just I'm sorry, not take you need to talk to your person. Okay, you need to talk to your partner. And just be honest about how you feel and hopefully they will understand. They should understand. No, hopefully. You know, they should see your point of view and the two of you. But at the same time, how do you compromise something like that? You don't want a kid, but they do. Okay, so how do you compromise that? Now, yeah, I can understand how difficult that can be. But the two of you should just really just talk it out and understand each other. The King of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Right? In Aries, you are only really focusing on money. Like, again, you have a money situation, okay? You know, how can you financially support a kid? Right? If you, if you're, it's not like you're dead, dead broke, but you don't, you don't really, you, like, you're kind of like, it's only, it's only because of, you're, you're only supporting yourself because you're kind of smart with your money. That's the only way you're, you know, you're supporting yourself. But if, like, hey, but if you have a kid, the kid and, and um this is my personal opinion i'm not saying like kids are bad or anything like that but i'm saying kids can financially drain you they can the more you have the more they can drain you right i'm not hating on kids you know they're little well most of them are little angels but yeah no, i mean i was gonna say all because not all of them are most of them are but um yeah i was saying that you know kids can be financially draining so if you're not proper in the financial area it can break you okay and, and then you'll end up losing that kid anyway because if, if you're incapable of taking care of that child their most like child services would most likely take them away from you okay 
the fool in the reverse okay so and that's our last card and you right now with what everything's going on you're gonna have to move when coughing cough, bleh, can't see my mouth is dry that's why i'm stuttering and mispronunciation words okay yeah but i'm saying the fool in reverse it means moving with caution okay you have to move with caution in a situation because you're not trying to piss anyone off right excuse me Albert. but you have to be honest about how you feel okay you have to be honest with yourself don't just live excuse me i i burped i hiccuped and burped at the same time so yeah you can't you have to be honest with yourself and talk to your partner forget everyone else okay this is between you and your partner and nobody else okay that's those are that's the only person you should be worried about that person's opinion or how they feel should be the only thing that matters don't let other people try to throw their two cents in and make you do foolishness talk to me talk to it about your partner and so you guys can work it out so aries i hope this did resonate with you i hope i did bring enlightenment or knowledge to the situation if you were for whatever situation you are going through or have gone through i hope i helped in any way but if it did not resonate with you i do apologize hopefully the next aries video will but in the meantime make sure you guys like comment share 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 subscribe 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload for when i upload this has been the universe tarot namaste Thank you.